<laughs> hey, gringo. Mr. Ricketts, come on in. Sit down and have yourself a drink. Sure. Say, any word of Javier Escuela? Uh, no, nothing yet. Say, why are you after him anyway? We're old friends. We was kind of educated together. <laughs> so what is this, some kind of high school reunion sort of thing? Something like that. Well, well you've killed people. You lived the life. <sighs> that I have. And I tried to stop. I mean, I don't know. I tried to go straight. I did. I left the gang after the gang left me. Left me to die after I'd been shot. They'd all gone crazy anyhow. Our old leader, a fella you probably heard of. Anyway, he more or less lost his mind, went and shot a bunch of people unfair like. I got shot in a robbery. They left me, and I left them. <laughs> well, that's how it goes. <laughs> <clears throat> Already had me a woman, got me a farm. Then I got me more trouble. Sure. <laughs> I've been sent to track down the men I used to run with. Track them, kill them. Well, if you don't, someone else will. There's no escape. Look at me. I spent 25 years killing men. <laughs> Look at me now. Sitting around here like some low-rent would-be messiah. <laughs> We're relics. Come on, have yourself another drink, and let's wallow in a little self-pity. Sounds like a plan. Your health. Mr. Ricketts, Mr. Ricketts, thank the Lord I have found you, and you, Mr. Marston. Will you sit down? You all right? I'm well, sir, but Allende is sending more men to the death, prisoners who have not been tried. A prominent writer, Castilla, and a local official whose only crime was not putting the small holders on the street when they were late with taxes. Writers and government officials. For once, I agree with Allende. Some men need to be killed. Mr. Ricketts! No, I was just joking. Where are they? Out near Escalera. Let's hang up our self-pity and go shoot ourselves some bad guys. You're gonna be all right. Thank you, both of you. All right, here we go again. Come on, work. Whoa, Luisa was pretty shaken up. She's angry. This war is getting dirtier by the day. People are being executed for just having an opinion. Linde seems to have more enemies by the day. Perhaps you would know. Rumor has it you've been making all kinds of new friends. I don't pay much attention to rumors. Just be careful, John. Keep jumping from one side of the fence to the other. You might just get impaled on it. I have to find these two men. With respect, how I do it is no concern of yours. Choose your tone wisely, partner. Remember who you're talking to. How could I ever forget? And who are you, John Marston? Apart from a rat beating every other hand he can find, my name means something. All you've done is kill a few peasants, and the only real outlaw you've taken on dropped you like a bad habit. Now, I politely ask you to watch your tone, Rick. All I'm saying is, maybe there's a reason why people around here don't want to talk. You must miss your family. It's the only thing that keeps me going. You know, you remind me a lot of myself. How I used to be. Stubborn and angry. You ain't changed all that much. I always thought I'd lived a charm life. I've known... Do you see that? Prison wagons. That must be them. This is our chance. See if you can take control of that first wagon. Yeah.
I will handle it from here. I know you got other matters to attend to. It's been nice riding with you, Mr. Ricketts. <laughs> and you too. You took me back to another time. Talk to Louisa. She'll help you, and she's well connected in that other land. I hope you find what you're looking for, Marston. You know what I'm looking for. <laughs> if you say so, Marston. If you say so. What's wrong, Louisa? I don't weep for myself, but for my country. Abram Reyes has been captured. He has? He was coming to meet me at Roca Madera. It's a very romantic spot. It was a beautiful night, yet he was ambushed by patrol. My heart is breaking, but I cry for Mexico. Uh, where's he being held? El Presidio. You know, in our hearts, we are married already, but his family do not approve. How could they? When well, I'm little more than a peasant girl. But that's what makes Abram the man he is. He doesn't care for their bourgeois, snobbery, or elitism. He sees the real me, the woman. I'm sure. I'm going to go and rescue him or die trying. Oh, well, well, I don't think that's such a good idea. Ride with me to near the jail. We'll figure out how to rescue him. Mr. Marston, you are truly a friend of this land. So everyone keeps informing me. Let's go, Mr. Marston. my best. 
There is a partially broken down wall. You should be able to scramble over it. Hurry, but please be careful. There are guards everywhere. If they see you, they will kill you both. Good luck. Get your temple to a You can do this. You have God on your side. Luisa sent me. We have to meet her by the river. Okay? Luisa, the girl you're marrying. Oh, yes. Such a devoted thing. El amor de mi vida. Now get us a horse, my friend. I am in no condition to ride myself. Luisa. I saved her life not so long back. I will not forget this, compadre. You will be rewarded. Money, women, Luisa, if you want her. I'm here for two men. That's it. You've been spending too much time with Captain De Santa. Very funny. Not like that. I'll explain later. I am free again. I will write a poem about this day. This is from a man who was tied to a post with a gun in his face a few minutes ago. I wish I could see Agenda's face when he finds out that I defeated a hundred of his men. All you've done is get on the back of this horse, my friend, and you barely managed that. Now, mi amiga. Abra, 
Sam, Mr. Marston. Oi! The revolution will live on thanks to you. Yes, indeed, John. You are as a brother to me. And my people need a man such as you to help our cause. My ranch is in Agave Viejo, and let me say, my brother, that we await you. Well, best of luck to both of you, but I need to find two men so I can return to America. Mm, no problem. I will help you find those men. And in return, you will win a people her freedom. Viva Mexico! Bye, John. Vente conmigo. Tú sabes que en esta luz puedo ver el fuego en tus ojos. Laura, dame la fuerza para luchar. Good news, good news. The Coronel himself wants to speak to you. Come. Dámelo. Dámelo. Besito. Besito. Don't be so conventional. Ah, look at that ass, huh? Magnificent. Not save her for later. Or I'll kill her and all her family. They're probably rebels anyway, huh? Anyways, it's good to see you, amigo. Good to see you. You know, you are a rare find, a gringo who is also a friend of our country. Bienvenido. We welcome you. OK. Dad, relax, relax. I have some wonderful news for you, quite wonderful, in fact. You know the men you hunt? They have been captured in Chupa Rosa. I want you and De Santa to ride out there, and then you can take possession of them. It is my gift to you for all your help, senor. Although part of me wishes that you would remain here and enjoy more of our hospitality, huh? <laughs> Thank you. If it's all the same, I'd like to collect the men. I have a wife and son at home whom I miss. Ah, don't we all, amigo? Don't we all? <laughs> the Santa, I want you to take care of Senor Marston. Vámonos, cabrón. Go! Adelante! <laughs> Mi amor! Mi amor! <laughs> Come, my friend. It is time to bring this man to justice. Get out Assuring. Why are they in the church? Mr. Marston, <laughs> gracias for your service to this land. Levanten esta pizza, mierda! Levántenlo! Marston, hey! Marston, <laughs> you have betrayed this land enough. I hope you have a clear conscience, because you're about to meet God. <laughs> <laughs> My brother, they will kill you if you don't get your ropes off. Over here, I will free you. It is lucky for you, 
that the days of this evil regime are numbered. Soon, we shall be free, living together in a noble republic, justly ruled by fine men. But, 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 el trabajo, the job is not done. Our struggle is not over. We will fight all day and night. Until local tyrants like Allende are no more. And him and all his dogs are brought to the sword. We shall be free. This time things shall be different for every man and woman in this land. And, and one day, and one day soon, Again, they will know justice. <laughs> My brothers, fight on. In our hearts, we are all free. Let us make it so. Viva la revolución. Viva Mexico. Mexico, 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 Mexico. Eh, hey, señor. You want trouble, friend? Manos arriba. Antilas. Tranquilo. Tranquilo, amigo. Tranquilo. Ya lo tengo. Muévese, cabrón. Mercy. El mundo es muy difícil. Hmm. Tenemos que jugarlo bien. Ah, uh -huh. oh, Mr. Marston, I knew you would come. Thanks for the welcoming committee. I'm sorry, we cannot be too careful. The world is very dangerous. Especially when you greet it with a gun. Please. Mr. Marston. My father was killed yesterday. The army found him and accused him of treason. They cut out his heart and fed it to their dogs. Allende did this. Then he took the honor of two young girls. I'm sorry to hear that, Luisa. My father must not die in vain. His death must mean something. It'll mean that war is brutal. 
and unnecessary, and good people die. And that's all it will mean. That is not enough. Well, you know I'll do whatever I can, but I have problems of my own. We all have problems. This is about the people. My father died for his people. For these men and for millions like them, that they may be free. While there are guns and money, there won't be any freedom, Louisa. Mr. Marston, the movement is on the brink of great victory. Allende knows this and has sent for reinforcements. Abraham Reyes asked personally that you stop them reaching Escalera. They are coming by the old trail. You must ambush them. I have my own family to worry about. Mr. Marston, I have lost my father. My mother is in the United States. My sister has fled. I have no family. Just because. Please. Good actions make you a good man. Then I'm doomed. But I will help you. Out of respect for your loss. Thank you, Mr. Marston. Thank you. Come on! The army convoy is already on its way. It is not far now. The army convoy will be coming from the east. We going to steal their supplies? No, destroy them and kill everyone. Abraham wants to send a message. Do you have experience with explosives? A little. Been a long time. Good, because we do not. You will man the detonator. My men are waiting there for us. They will also need your help setting up the dynamite. I'll do my best. We will do this for my father, John. men will help you rig dynamite on the road. Please tell them where to place it. I'll be waiting up above, watching for the wagons. Okay. Follow me, gentlemen. Vamos. Tell us where to place it. Very one right here. And here. Here's good. Set the last one here. Tell me, Luisa, the detonator. We will handle the rest. coming. Get ready, John. Every time Allende hits us, we hit him back harder. Look, they are coming.
Thank you, Mr. Marston. We are a step closer to power. My father would be very proud. I hope it was worth it. I must return to Campo Mirada. Meet me there when you can. I will do my best to return the favor. you have come. That wretched animal the Santa has been sent to oversee a massacre in El Sepulcro. Come, we must stop him and finally kill that vermin and all of Allende's other followers. Hurry, I don't know how much time we have. Maybe the Santa can tell you where to find Javier Escuela. It is good that you are helping Luisa. It ain't right what happened to her father. She's a brave girl. She can fight as well as any man. She ain't the only woman I've seen fighting for Reyes. Yes, women, even children. Everybody must become a soldier if we are to win this war. That's a lot to sacrifice. I just hope it's worth it. No doubt. I can't keep up. It is better to fight free than leave her safe. Reyes, we should stay together. not to open fire until I make a move. We don't want to give him a chance to escape. And leave DeSanta to me. I need him alive. We will wait for your lead, senor. En el nombre del gobierno provincial del coronel Allende y del estado de este país, te condeno a muerte por traición. ¿Tienes algunas últimas palabras? No. Come on, quick! Santa! Mexican army after you. You're angry. I can understand that. There we go. Come on. Let me go. I am begging you. 
Javier Escuela. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Casa Madrugada. It's hold up there. Now hurry up and kill me. Or just let me go. Okay? Can we kill this piece of shit now, senor? Or would you like to pleasure yourself? Uh, I'll pay you. Think about your family. Do it, compadre! You, you, you don't have to do this! He's all yours, fellas. I got what I need. Esto es para Mexico! It is done. Come on. Now we find your friend. Go, keep moving. Come on. I don't like to kill a man on his knees, even if he does deserve it. There is no time to stop. That man is responsible for hundreds of innocent dead, maybe thousands. He will burn in hell. We all will, my friend. If Pinota is dead, if the Santa is dead, the army is without leader. We must move on and get there now before it's too late. First, you need to help me find Javier Escuela. Yeah. Hey, you, lady. Hmm. Where's Javier Escuela? <laughs> Javier Escuela? He hasn't been seen around here in months. You shot up this place for him, huh? I wouldn't spit on him if he was on fire. I don't blame you. The Captain DeSantis said he was here. <laughs> and you believe him? You must be more stupid than you look. <laughs> Go shoot up some place else. <coughs> <laughs> Tenemos que movilizar. 
organizar fuerzas en el extremo sur de la llanura para que los flancos del este y el oeste. Where is Abraham Reyes? Here, amigo. Here. Well, well, well. Look who it is. The American bandit turned bounty hunter who is about to win the Mexico Revolution. I don't know about that, mister. No, but I do, Mr. John Marston. I do. A man like you or me with, with just a few such men, I tell you I could rule the entire country. Hey, hermanos unidos, set my people free. Libre Mexico. Mexico. Libre Mexico. It's like food to me. I feel I was sent for them and they were sent to me. Good for you. Uh, when I rule these people, I shall be fair and judicious and wise. How so do you ask? Very simple. I know these people. I know this land. In, in short, I can make them better. It must be pleasant to be a man so at one with his destiny. Ay, Dios mío, I don't do it for myself, John Marston. I do it for my people. Well, exactly. Sarcasm, my friend, should be beneath a man such as you, don't you think? Very little is beneath a man such as me. Ha! Okay, well, well, in that case, I assume a little robbery will be a pleasant day's work. All in a good cause, of course. Come, my brother. Let us strike while the iron is hot. Follow me. We must hurry. Yeah, follow. Tell me more, John. Are my sources correct? Have you come to Mexico to murder your two best friends? Not exactly. We were friends once. A lot's changed since then. Now that we are friends, I hope you will give me some warning if you get a sudden urge to kill me. You'll be the first to know when I kill you, I promise. So where are they? Who? Williamson and Escuela. I'm not sure exactly where. They are definitely in Mexico. That's the police that drove. We cannot miss the train. So how did you meet these Williamson and Escuella? We ran in the same gang together, under a fella called Dutch. We were all bad kids, lost, angry, and forgotten. He kind of saved us. And turned you into criminals? Dutch didn't see us that way. We robbed banks, stole from the rich, and we gave the money to people who needed it more. So he was a revolutionary too, like me. I suppose. He saw that the system of power was rotten, that good people had been crushed for too long. And he believed that change could only succeed if it was brutal and relentless. Make America what he felt it was supposed to be. I like the sound of this man, Dutch. Another violent idealist. Where is he now? I don't know. But I gotta find him once I'm done with them two. In the end, he went insane. Lost faith in everything, in everyone. You have quite a story, John Marston. I really am a little jealous. Jealous? Of his poetic potential, I mean. He would make an excellent corrido. A bullfight? No, mi hermano. That is a corrida. No, a corrido is as Mexican as Mexico itself. A song, a poem. A story, a ballad, a musical tribute to a... Oh, watch what you're writing. There are over a hundred written about me. Remind me to stay away from men with guitars. In a country where most people cannot read the newspaper, song is a powerful means of communication. We do what we can to battle the lies and propaganda of the government. I know. I've seen your poster. In the capital, they are already talking about my legend escape from El Presidio, how I fought off a thousand Mexican soldiers with my bare hands. Finally, the people have the truth. I have to know, what did you think of Agustin Allende, Young? I saw enough to know he ain't a good man. He 
It is bad enough he beats the people he swore to protect, but it is worse that he enjoys it. Something must have made him that way. Cowardice made him that way, my friend. That and Sanchez, of course. Who? General Ignacio Sanchez, our country's kind and generous dictator. Everything comes from him. It is like a father who beats his son, and then his son takes his dog outside and rapes him. That's a very specific example, Allende Abraham. Es una marioneta. How do you say a, a, a puppet? Everything he does is controlled by Sanchez. In America? They told us Sanchez was making things better here. Pinche propaganda. He talks about economic reform, about how this is a new golden age for Mexican people. But look around you. The people are poorer than ever. Come! Allende is nothing more than a perrito for General Sanchez. A what? A little puppy dog that leaves his feet and makes him feel low. If he admits that you're slowing us down, Marto. That's a loyal dog. Sanchez isn't stupid. He knows the only way to keep power is to control the countryside, the peasants. And for that, he needs vicious idiots like Allende. He's certainly vicious. Allende came from poverty, and look now at how he treats the poor. It's strange, all right. Allende is a peasant who wants to be a nobleman, and you're a nobleman who wants to be a peasant. You ever had the feeling that you are living history, Joe? Ain't we all living history? Not far now. Chuparosa is just up ahead. We must hurry. The tr so listen. This train is filled with valuable supplies we need, but it's also filled with government troops. We'll set up a very loud distraction. You can board the train, and then you can disconnect the army cars, huh? Okay. Okay, but listen, we've got to get this done before the train rolls out of the station. You make it sound so easy. <laughs> well, did I not promise you fun times, amigo? Eh? There are too many soldiers. We must surprise them. Here, take this knife. You can use it to kill the guards quietly. Wait until I distract them. Then get on that train as fast as you can, Young. Good luck. Give me some time to get their attention. La revolución es imparable! Andale!
like a cat onto that train. Magnificent. Go ahead and blow the armored car and take whatever you need, my brother. Vámonos. Quick, brother, we don't have much time. To the victor, the spoil. <laughs> Not a bad day of robbing the establishment to give to the poor, eh, Mr. Marston? Very noble, I'm sure, but I need to know where Williamson and Escuela are holed up. All in good time, amigo. I'm off to deliver these goods. I'll see you back at the ranch. Oh, my spies tell me they soon will have the information you need. <laughs> 